My daddy was a truck driver. Drove truck most of his life, all of my life, the, until he passed away. And uh, Lord knows I heard a lot of country songs, and some of them just go to heart, you know. And I thought I'd share one of those with you, but I'm not going to sing it. I'll just I'll just do it as a poem. So with that, I give you how fast them trucks will go. You know a lot of folks stop at truck stops. They just naturally think they should because they figure any place a truck driver eats the food's just bound to be good. Well I'll go in there amongst all them truck drivers sitting around talking low. And we're talking about women and stuff like that and how fast them trucks will go. There's a little old place out on 66 where a lot of us drivers stop and get our kicks at this reckless eyeballless waitress the guys call Flo. There's always a bunch in there hanging out, cutting up, and talking about how she wiggles when she walks, stuff like that, and how fast some trucks will go. Well, I can't explain how she'll make you feel, but you'll tip her five dollars on a two dollar meal, and then you go out and get heading out kind of slow. And as you're pushing your diesel on down the line, you get thinking about your woman you left behind. How she wiggles when she walks. Stuff like that. How fast some trucks will go. Isn't it funny? I've had that I've had that little thing committed to memory since I don't know when, since I was a little tiny kid. That and uh, Phantom 309. It's amazing the things in your life that'll stick with you, and rarely is it something that you think will. It's the little things, you know. My parents went on vacation. We went on vacation down south to Arkansas, probably every year, and for two years or two, not two years, two weeks at a time. And uh, my mother's 88 years old now, and. We get to talking about those days. And uh, she's always surprised that I don't remember the Grand Canyon. And I don't remember, you know, very little of Disney World and going to Florida or even going to California. I just don't remember it. What I do remember, though, is on the way down to Arkansas, we used to pass this place that had a he had to be a 20-foot cowboy and a little sign that says something to the effect of come on in and you went in there and it was like an old ghost town you know it was an old western town with the dirt road and the saloon and you know had to had the cutout you put your face in and get your pictures taken and we did all that and they always had a shootout there was always a shootout and he'd shoot somebody on the roof and he'd come rolling down, rolling off the roof, land on the ground. He's dead and they'd shoot another one and, you know, there'd be a whole crowd of a whole, I don't know, maybe a whole ten people that would take the time to stop it and see it. And after the show was over and you were waiting for the matinee or you wanted to catch the saloon girls, you go in a general store and they had a big cracker barrel sitting there and a big hunk of cheese on top of it. Colby Sharp, Colby Longhorn is what it was. And you just cut a wedge off and you, you got it like a little basket and you filled it with crackers and you went up and paid for it. You didn't pay much. And you could walk through two double doors, two swinging doors from the general store into the saloon. In the saloon they had tables where you could sit down and you could order such hard things as sassafras, <laughs> birch beer, And it's one of my fondest memories. And I don't know why that brings a tear to my eye. But I don't remember the Disney Worlds and I don't remember the Californias. 
I remember vacation started when we got in the car. I can recollect my father messing with the scorpion with a stick. The scorpion would dig down into the sand and my father would get him out with a stick and he'd dig back down and he'd get him out again. It's one of my one of my greatest recollections. I remember going down through down the road and nothing but desert. Des desert just it seemed like desert everywhere. And no, there's not a lot of desert here in the here in the eastern part of the United States. I'm not talking about that. We were driving along and up ahead of you'd see a, uh, um, a roadside park and it was all green and you thought finally you know some grass some place to sit out sit down and relax have dinner get some water and when you pulled in you realized that it wasn't grass it was pavement somebody painted green and it was hotter than any sand that you'd been in but what the hell you're stopped there now so you went ahead and did what you had to do I think that's where my my love of driving and travel came from there, there's nothing uh, there's times when when I just I would give anything to get out on the road and just drive I've been all over the United States but mostly on the eastern part of the United States love it all lived in a few places now I live in North Carolina and lived down in Florida for a little bit lived in Ohio until I was almost 40 and that was all good when I was down south I missed the changing of the colors of the leaves and I missed that 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 real pretty snow you know when it first falls and nobody's walked through it Never did miss the gray snow, the one that covers the streets and everybody gets their car stuck in. And I'm back up north again, and I miss those mornings when I get my coffee, go out on the porch and watch the lizards run back and forth, and watch the... Just, just watch, you know, black squirrels and saw an eagle one time had a falcon lay on a ta land on a ki on a picnic table at my home here in Ohio once that was a surprise and he just landed and just sat there it's probably 10 15 minutes and then he took off and went other places I know I'm rambling but I guess since so many people are out here are down and talking about life sucking and everything, uh, maybe I can just tell you about sometimes when, when it didn't that was good. So I'll ramble on. <laughs> anyway, I think that's where my, where my love of driving came from. I can drive anything that's got rubber on it. That's all there is to it. I can drive 18 wheels. I can drive a car. I can get on a motorcycle. It doesn't matter what it is. And, and I love it because I can always get in something and go I'll never take Greyhound again though I took a Greyhound bus from North Carolina to Cleveland normally normally would have taken me 12 hours to drive it it took me 23 and a half hours including standing around in a bus terminal in Washington DC waiting for the, the bus that we had to switch to it wasn't expensive but you know it, it really sucked Anyway, I've done my plug for alcohol. I told you about being on the road and I recited a poem for you. What else can I do? I'll see you again real soon. And until then, this is Zen Archard saying, be well. Isn't it nice to just sit and talk to the camera and to your YouTube friends and without really a purpose? <laughs>